<laughs> What's going on guys? I don't know if you guys have already seen my modes and settings video on this gimbal right here. This is the DJI RSC2, the upgrade from the regular DJI Ronin SC that was released in October of this year, 2020. So the thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is the Raven Eye transmission system. So this system costs about 215 US dollars standalone. So you can buy it standalone or you can buy it as you know a package with the DJI RSC2 Pro combo. So the combo package comes with a lot more you know accessories compared to the regular DJI RSC2 and I'll get to that in a different video so if you're new to my channel make sure to smash that subscribe button and we'll keep talking about you know more gimbal stuff like this okay so I'm gonna get right into it in this video I'm not gonna waste anybody's time I'm gonna talk about how the new Raven uh, eye image transmission system works I'm going to be using my Canon EOS M50 to test this out you also want to make sure that your camera is compatible with the DJI RSC2 as well as the Raven eye transmission system so the Canon EOS M50 is and it's what I'm going to be using to test out this feature today so let's get right to it I'm gonna start with the setup process you know all the things you need to have or the things you need to connect to make it you know uh, communicate between your phone and the camera so the Raven Eye transmission system what it does is basically it transmits a 1080p video from your camera to your phone so you can control everything that's happening on your camera via the phone app the DJI Ronin app so if you have the DJI RSC2 I'd say consider getting this you know new edition addition to the DJI line it increases the responsiveness of for example the active track 3.0 and it also lets you control you know parameters of your camera like the ISO the aperture directly from the phone app it gives you a whole new access to new features the active track feature used to be available on the regular DJI Ronin SC on the new DJI RSC2 to use active track you're going to need the Raven Eye transmission system the Raven Eye transmission system has a runtime of about 3.5 hours and about 2.5 hours of charge time so that's according to DJI as well they might have you know made that better because it was just a recent update that might have made that better so we're going to be exploring all of the functions of the Raven Eye transmission system and how it makes the entire system the entire RSC2 a better gimbal let's get right to it y'all okay so right here I've got the Raven Eye image transmission system so there's three ports on this as well as the power button and the power indicator or battery indicator because you have to charge this using a USB-C cable so the cool thing is you can charge this directly on the gimbal there's a port on the gimbal arm that you can use to charge this directly from the gimbal so power it and charge it from the gimbal in case you're out of power right here is a USB-C ports that you can use to charge the Raven Eye transmission system as well as connect it directly to the gimbal so it's an important port that you should take note of right here we've got the HDMI port this is how you would transmit 1080p video directly from your camera directly to the phone app right here is the RSS feed and this is how you will connect the Raven Eye directly to the gimbal arm we're not going to be using the RSS arm to do anything within this video but we're going to be using the HDMI and the USB-C port right here I've got all three cables we're going to be using in tandem with the gimbal and the camera to connect to the Raven Eye transmission system on our phone right here I've got the USB-C to micro USB cable so this is how you would connect the camera directly to the gimbal so this is how you would control things like ISO and stuff like that this is a multi-camera control cable here I've got the HDMI D to HDMI C cable this is how you would transmit the 1080p video directly from your camera to the Ronin app. Finally, I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable right here. This cable is how you would connect the gimbal directly to the Raven Eye. So if you want to control the gimbal using the Raven Eye transmission system, then you're gonna have, you're gonna have to connect this to the gimbal right here is my Canon EOS M50 camera the first thing you'd want to know is that you can use the Raven Eye uh, transmission system directly with your camera so without the gimbal if you want to use it just with your camera you'd have to just connect this directly to the cold shoe mount at the top of your camera so right there and simple as that now your camera can use the Raven Eye transmission system you'd also have to connect the HDMI cable as well as the micro USB cable between the Raven Eye and the camera to be able to transmit and use it on your phone so you can use your phone away from your camera using the Raven Eye transmission system so it can work as a standalone subject without the DJI RSC2 so first of all you want to make sure that that the HDMI cable and the micro USB cable are of the same style as your camera because for the ca for the Canon EOS M50 it uses a, a micro USB and a HDMI C cable so that's what I'm using those are the cables DJI has provided all the cables that you'll need or possible cables that you could need in the box so you can just search through them and see which one works for you so this would go directly into the HDMI port and then we'll connect the micro USB cable you'd want to connect the, the USB C to micro USB cable to the power port as well as to your camera 
right here. So the micro USB spot. It depends on what you what you got for your camera. For the for the Canon EOS M50, it's just a micro USB port, and I'm just gonna connect it right here. So right there is how you would have it if you wanted to use it as a standalone, you know, device with your camera. So I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna use it in tandem with the gimbal now. That way we can control the camera as well as the gimbal from the Ronin app. So let's do that. Okay, so right here is the RSC2 gimbal. Underneath the tilt arm, there's a cold shoe mount. So that's how you would attach the, the Raven Eye to your gimbal is by just sliding it on and then locking it in place right there. You'd want to have the antennas pointing outwards from the roll arm. According to DJI, that's what they're saying, but I couldn't get the HDMI cable to connect to the camera because of the, the positions of the, you know, HDMI C port on the camera. So I had to do mine in reverse. It still worked perfectly. There was no problems at all. I think they just say that as a, I don't know why they say that. Point is I did it this way, so in reverse. So if you're having issues trying to connect it, you can go ahead and do the same thing. At least you know now you can mount it both ways and not have any problems at all. So whichever one works for your you know, camera setup, go for it. So once you have it mounted like this, you want to flip the, uh, the arm back in place and then kind of just set up your gimbal. Now that you have this mounted on here, you'd want to place your camera on your gimbal. So basically mount your camera on your gimbal. But before that, we're not gonna do the mounting process yet. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to attach all the cables between the camera and the gimbal and the Raven Eye transmission system and then mount and balance the entire setup. If you wanna know how to balance your gimbal, make sure to go ahead and check out my video on how to uh, balance the gimbal vertically and horizontally. You can check that out. The video will be at the top of the screen, but let's get back to this. So I'm gonna place this on the gimbal right now. So on the Canon EOS M50, all the cable ports that are important are all right here. So they're so close to the arm right here. So it can be kind of a, you know, pain to kind of get this to work, you know, smoothly every time. But it works. It works good, I, like based on what I, I've seen so far. So I'll show you guys in this video how well it works. So these are the three cables I was talking about initially that we're going to use to connect the gimbal to the camera and the uh, Raven Eye transmission system. So I'm going to start doing the connections right now. The first cable that we're going to connect is the USB-C to USB-C cable. So this cable we use to connect the the uh, Raven Eye transmission system directly to the gimbal. So this is how the gimbal communicates with the Raven Eye transmission system. You want to connect it to the same point you would connect when you're charging uh, the Raven Eye transmission system and then you connect that the other end to your gimbal. So there's two ports you can connect it to. One of them is for charging the Raven Eye transmission system directly from your gimbal and the other one allows you to you know communicate between the gimbal and uh, the Raven Eye transmission system and that's the one we're going to be connecting to. So the one with the, the Wi-Fi symbol right next to it. Next up, we've got the USB-C to micro uh, USB cable. This one is how you would connect the camera directly to your gimbal so you can, you know, control what's going on on the camera. This is the multi-camera control cable right here. My camera, the Canon EOS M50, uses a micro USB. So your camera might use something different as the USB connector. Whatever it is, make sure to check through the box or the bag to find the cable that works for you. So the USB-C end will be connected directly to the tilt arm. So the same uh, area you connected the first cable, you'd wanna connect the second one, but you want to connect it to the RSS port. So the RSS and the camera symbol port. Okay, finally, we've got the HDMI D to HDMI C cable. So for this, make sure you're using the HDMI cable that works with your camera. Mine uses an HDMI C right here. So I'm gonna be using this to connect the camera directly to the Raven Eye transmission system. You're gonna plug this into the HDMI port on your camera and then connect the other end of the HDMI cable directly to the Raven Eye transmission system. So when you're done connecting all three cables, it should look something like this. So every cable should be tightly connected, make sure everything and nothing is like, you know, slightly unconnected. Make sure it's all in there and you're pretty much good to go. So the next thing you want to do now is balance your gimbal. There will be a video in which I explain how to do it vertically and horizontally, depending on what you're going to be shooting for. So after watching that video, come back here and we'll continue with this. So now we've got the gimbal balanced or the camera balanced on the gimbal and we've got the whole setup ready. So the next thing we want to do is connect the Raven Eye transmission to the DJI Ronin app. But before we do that, we want to turn on the gimbal, just power on the gimbal, hold it for about two to three seconds. Then it comes on. Another thing you want to turn on is the camera itself. So you turn that on as well. So we also want to turn on the Raven Eye transmission system. And to do that, you want to turn that on. The power button should be along the side right here. So we're going to move the antennas out of the way and we're going to power it on. Right there is the battery indicator showing that there's not much power on it. We should be good for what we're going to use it for. So I'm going to press and hold the power button. You want to press and hold until those three symbol lights come on and then you have this little light here. So red when it's low, blue when it's, you know, not low. Three things to turn on, the camera, 
the Raven Eye transmission system, and the gimbal. Finally, you want to go over to your phone and open up the DJI Ronin app. So, as you can see right here, the next thing you want to do is connect to the Raven Eye utility. So, you click on that at the bottom of the screen, and it'll ask you to go connect to your Wi Fi or to connect to the Wi-Fi of the Raven Eye transmission system and then you'll wait for it to find it. Mine is right there. Raven Eye 69, you know, uh, la -da, la -di -da, -di da So you want to click on that and then connect it. Right there, once it's connected, then you're connected to the Raven Eye transmission system. Then you can go back to the Ronin app and it'll automatically open up the interface for the Raven Eye transmission system. So this is the interface right here. Next thing we want to check out right now would be all the different uh, things that, can, that, that we can do with the Raven Eye transmission system. Okay, so I'm going to go over all the different things you can do with the Raven Eye transmission system now. So this is the general overlay or the interface you'd see. Directly off the Raven Eye transmission system, there's a lot you can do. So if you click on this right here, it recenters the gimbal. Before that, I'm going to kind of get it out of the way. So we're going to use Force Mobile. We're going to test out Force Mobile firstly, so I'm going to click on that uh, icon right there and then uh, enable Force Mobile. Force Mobile allows you to control the gimbal. It gives you full control of the gimbal from your phone by just moving it. So I'm going to I'm going to go over the virtual joystick. You can also turn on the joystick and use that like you know you would use the joystick on the actual gimbal. So you see how it rolls the gimbal. If you move the left joystick, it controls the tilt and the pan axis. The right joystick controls the roll axis so that's how that works right there so i'm going to recenter the gimbal by clicking on this icon at the top left corner right here and as you can see it recenters it again so you can also go over to the top right corner and as you can see right there there's two icons one for the battery percentage i've only got 37 at the moment you can also click on the settings right here the raven eye settings and go through all the different settings and set up different things so the shutter uh which is one that i, I, I like to explain is uh is how you would record what's going on on uh what's going on in your camera directly to your phone as well as to the sd card in the camera so if you choose shoot plus cache it's going to record to your phone as well as to your sd card but if you choose only cache it does you know just to your phone so that's how that works right there you can also go ahead and check the wi-fi settings you want to make sure you're you know using the 5.8 gigahertz that's what i like to use and select a good channel as you can see i have one with low interference right there you can also go ahead and change all the different uh, wi-fi name and password you know make it to whatever you want there's another way to do that is is by pressing the power button on the uh, Raven Eye transmission six, six, system six times and that would help you reset the password. We have that done right there. We're going to turn off Force Mobile and the joystick. The next thing we're going to look at here is the different things you can control from the camera. So first of all I have this little paint uh, thing at the in the bottom left. If you press this this uh, the first option it shows you overexposed areas. If you press the second one it shows you overexposed and underexposed. So blue for underexposed and red for overexposed and if you choose the red um, the, the third one it shows you the corners of the focus and and lots you can apply your own lot you can you know see what it would look like before you even while you're shooting basically and this will show you it would uh, switch the camera through three or four different modes I mean red green blue and gray so the last one is just you know all colors right there and that's how that one works so you can also control parameters from the camera like the ISO so you just click down there and you move that so you control the different parameters that way you can you know decide if you want picture that or an image that's overexposed or underexposed you can also change the rest of the other options like the F and the 1 over 50 so that way you know you get more control of what's going on in your camera directly from the Raven Eye transmission system so that's the major thing with this uh, you can also record uh, from here directly as you can see just press the record button right there and you can switch between uh, recording and picture taking right there and they'll take a picture if you want to use one that takes you know takes pictures right there so finally we're going to talk about active track all right so right now i've got something in front of the camera i'm going to test out the active track 3.0 function using the raven eye technology and to do that as you can see i've placed something in front of the uh, camera thing is with active track what it does is it you know uses the signal from the camera and f isolates a subject and stays on it no matter where you move the item or whatever is in front it can be a person or object uh it will follow the, the gimbal will follow you can use it for cool panoramic shots so i'm going to show you guys right now what you got to do is either you know select the entire image or the, the object you want or you tap on the trigger button on the gimbal so that way it you know focuses it, it activates active track so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select i'm going to drag and select on that image right there and it's going to select that as you can see it's now in active track mode you can also uh, increase the speed right here between 20 all the way up to 30 but i like to use only 20 because according to dji it's better to use you know to kind of stay at 20 so this is how active track works i don't know if you guys can see that right there it just follows whatever subject you put in front of it so it's pretty cool in my opinion i don't know what you guys think about it but 
this is cool. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys like this new feature. That's basically it for that one right there and most of the functions. Anything else that you'd like to know, let me know down in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer it. But that's all I've got for you guys. One thing you'd want to note is when connecting the Raven Eye image transmission system directly to the DJI Ronin app, you want to make sure that you look at the SSID and the password. The password is just going to be on the Raven Eye transmission system. You can look to the right of the battery indicator lights and you'll find the SSID, which is just the uh, uh, you know name that you'd use to find your Wi-Fi for your uh, Raven, Raven Eye image transmission system as well as the password. So those are important for you right there. One last thing you want to note is that you need to turn off your Bluetooth when using this. Well, you don't need to, but stops any problems from getting in the way, any, you know, interference and stuff like that. It's best to use it without the Bluetooth turned on is what I'm saying because you don't need it, you know, to connect to the Raven Eye transmission system. For those of you guys that have been asking me about the Raven Eye technology, there you go right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or just want to say hello, let me know down in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Helps my channel grow. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because we make good content like this and I appreciate all you guys. If you enjoy videos like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas and I am out, y'all.